first I want to give praises unto Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father. Double praises unto the Mashiach, Yahshua HaMashiach. Double praises unto the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Wisdom that gives us this truth and knowledge to understand the Bible prophecy and opens our eyes up to this truth. Barak, Haba, Bishem, blessed be he who comes in the name of Yahweh, blessed be his name. Barak, Ata, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech, Haolam, blessed art thou, O Yahweh, our God, King in the universe. All praises go to all three of them. Now this is a song that I saw, and it's not really a surprise, man. This is the most disgusting, vile song I have ever heard in my entire life. We see there, looks like an all-seeing guy of the Illuminati. There would be the the triangle part of the eye around the pupil. And there would be the pu the ball inside the eye. Right there, it does look like an all-seeing eye. And again, of course, this, is, this song is just a joke. It really is a joke. It's all it is. It's basically full of women that are basically half-naked. Pornography. Again, we all know why this is, it's to corrupt the youth, because again, pornography is a big problem in this world. It breaks families up, it causes division and all that, it causes problems in people's lives. And they know this, but they don't care. They can care less. They could not care less about you, or if you have a problem battling it. No one, none, none of these care. They promote it. They're all for it. For it. <clears throat> They're all for prom all for promoting lust. There you go with the old seeing guy right there. The black and white darkness becomes one with lightness. The duality agenda, as you see again, the one eye symbolism. Again, the one eye symbolism. And as you see, you've got no no top on. Again, a joke. This is an absolute joke. Because this is all part of the agenda. This is what they want to brainwash the youth and the teenage women like. They want to brainwash them to think. As I said, they're after your kids. And they promote them to teenagers as well. Oh, th this is what women should be like. They should be like this harlots, basically half naked, performing like sex objects. Same with porn. Porn promotes the same thing. Pornography promotes that women are sex objects. That's the way it portrays them. Portrays them that they're nothing but sex objects. That's what the Illuminati promote in every single music video. A sex, women are sex objects, nothing than that. And that, this has all been set up by design. And then they had the... They had the feminist movement, which is just another psyop agenda created by the New World Order. Again, a, a woman is below a man. That's just the way it is. That's the way the Bible says it is, and that's the way, the way it is always going to be. A man is above a woman. The man goes out and works for the family, and the woman takes care of the children. And as it says in the Bible, a woman's job is to teach the children about the Bible, bring your children up right. That's a woman's job, taking care of the household. But again, in society today, they see that as, oh, that's sexist, that's wrong. It's not wrong at all. Not wrong at all. It's not sexist at all. What is wrong about it? A woman takes care of the family. A woman is a mother. A woman takes care of the ba a baby when she gives birth to it. That's a mother's job. But again, they, they'll have you see, oh, we, women don't, in the, in these songs, it, she goes, I don't need a man, I don't need a man. So again, they're going against the Bible. They they want you to think the opposite. The Bible says uh, a man is above a woman. And like, let a woman be subject unto a husband and everything. But they want you to think that, oh, it's the opposite way round, that, oh, now a man should bow down before a woman. Nope. Not at all. Absolute antichrist. And they're half naked. Again, it's disgusting. While well, promoting the old scene, I the Illuminati. There we go again. And in this scene, 
I had to cut it off because again it's actually actually promoting pornography. I've exposed the song before. It was probably been months and months and months ago, or probably a year ago. Travis Scott, he made a song, and in that you think this song is bad. In that one, it shows a full woman, pure. It shows a woman fully naked with nothing on at all. So it's I'm not surprised. Yeah, if someone did this, if someone posted a YouTube video of a woman completely naked, damn that video would get flagged down so damn fast. Oh, but these people are allowed to do whatever they want. This just proves they're protected. They, these people are protected. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want, because the Freemason sellout. If any YouTuber or something like that or truther posted a video of a naked woman, they get flagged f so fast. Yeah, or if you say anything against their agendas, you'll get done for it. But again, these people can promote whatever they want, whenever they want, and no repercussions. It shows that they're protected by the system because they are part of the system. They're sellouts. They are sellouts. And you'll notice again, black, red. Be, be like the movie Alice in Wonderland, the Queen, the Queen of Hearts. That's really what this would represent: the Queen of Hearts, uh, Ace with the cards and that. But again, notice the pyramid here, Illuminati pyramid triangle, part of the agenda, the Illuminati, the one eye symbolism again, over and over again, the black and white Illuminati occult agenda. And then we have here, again, women empowerment movement. That's all this really is. It's a women empowerment garbage, feminist nonsense. You see this? She's in black and white. Again, black and white darkness becomes one with lightness, the duality agenda. A cult. There we go. No respect. Again, you can tell her breasts are fake. The fake. You can tell there's a massive gap in the middle. So everything about her is completely fake. It's laughable. It is laughable, man. As we see right there. Uh, when you see a massive gap like that, they're fake. They're not real. They're not real breasts. They're fake. That's how you know these are fake. So again... She can brag as much as one, oh, I'm a real, uh, everybody wants me. This woman is not even, a, she's not even attractive one single bit at all. Everything about her is fake. Her face is fake. Uh, she's, she's even admitted that she's had liposuction and she's had stuff done on her body. Her backside's probably fake because, again, in this video, the front of her doesn't add up to the back. It really doesn't. The hips usually, the hips have to be have to be thick at the front and the back to have a massive backside. Well, that's not the case with her, which proves it's fake. So again, the black and white again. Again, this is all part of hypnotism. The Masonic checkerboard floor, the black and white duality agenda. It's all garbage. There we go. Oh, when a cross acting like she's Christian. Nah, ain't no Christian. This is Satanist. This swirl here represents hypnotizing you. Because that's really what they're doing here. They're admitting they are putting a witchcraft spell on you to hypnotize you into their agenda, their occult agenda. That's all it really is. Again, the hypnotism in the background, the black and white darkness becomes one with lightness. This, so what they do, they use this in MK Ultra as well. They spin it around, hypnotizes people, so then they can do MK Ultra on them, brainwash them, and then put demons into them. That's the way it works. And then you see as well from this distance, this is the black sun behind the head. The Black Sun. I've exposed this so many times now. These occultists worship the Black Sun. 
it goes back to the Nazis, because that's where it, it came from. It's the worship of the Black Sun. The Luciferians believe that there's a planet called... They actually believe there's a second sun. That's what they believe. There's a, there's a, it's all part of the agenda. Again, the original sun in the sky that we see every single day is white, isn't it? White is yellow. The second, they believe there's a second sun that's black. Again, more of the occult agenda. Darkness becomes one with lightness. It's, this is the way these people were. They believe that evil becomes one with light. Again, mixing doesn't doesn't happen in the Bible. Again, the black sun. That's really what this is. The black sun is connected to the worship. The Luciferians worship. They believe this is Lucifer. They believe that Lucifer created this black sun, and it's him. It's a joke. It is nothing but a cult agenda. That's all it is. That's why they worship the black sun, the solar eclipses, the bl blood moons. They worship it because it's a ritual. They perform satanic rituals on these certain events. And then we have the Egyptian goddess. More garbage. Promoting that she's a goddess. Nope. No goddess. You just a sellout. Nothing but a sellout. And who would have nails this long? I mean, seriously. Looks like Edward the Scissorhands. Again, but again, all these diamonds and jewels. Again, worship of worship of diamonds, jewels. Exactly what the Egyptians did. Worship gold. They were obsessed with gold, same as the Persians. Again, this is all this is. She's portraying herself as a goddess. She ain't. She isn't no goddess. She's nothing but a harlot. That's all she is. A harlot. Again, the black and white Masonic checkerboard floor right there in front of your face, black and white. Darkness becomes one of the lightness, the duality agenda, a cult agenda. And there we go. She's in like a, a glass protective case thing. Basically acting like she's perfect. They're again, in love with yourself, pride leads to destruction. This is all it really is, where she's in love with her own body, that's pride. That's just, that will lead to destruction, as it says on Judgment Day, that God shall not the pride out of everyone. He shall see, he shall, the pride for people shall cease. Basically, they won't be proud anymore. The proudful shall be brought to crying and sorrow. So again, these people can be proud as much as they want, but... It's all going to end very soon, and then again you have to show that the black and white Masonic checkerboard floor. So again, she believes she's really just a copy and paste of Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj believes that she's queen of rap, that she's a Barbie. She believes that she's perfect. Now we have Cardi B believes the same. She originally started off as a stripper, a harlot. And but it, she basically flaunts it in the career like she's proud of it. Why would anyone, why would you be proud of being a, a harlot? That's what they want you to think today. They want women to, to act this way. Oh, I want to be just like Cardi B. I, I want to be a, I want to be a harlot going around sh showing my body off for money. And again, that's why they want women to think that way because as it says, the Bible says, and the Bible says, O daughters of Jerusalem, do not m let me find you among the harlot of Babylon. Again, it says, do not let me find you playing the harlot with Babylon. So again, all seeing eye again, more garbage. Again, you see this, the white line around the eye. This, And again, you see the teardrop here. This simulates the, oh, the eye of Horus. That's what it simulates. You'll see with the eye of Horus that it has this at the top, and then it has the teardrop, eye of Horus. So again, they're promoting the Egyptian goddess people. Again, Egypt, that's why the Illuminati worshipped the Egyptians so much. You look at the Egyptians, they were pagans. That's what they were, pagans. They performed in sexual lust and all that. You'll see that in their artwork. 
that they were performing in lust. They were pagans. They worshipped gold. They worshipped demons. They, they enslaved people. And then what happened? God plagued them all and killed them all. Pharaoh died. And that's what happened. Egypt thought it was untouchable until God came, until God destroyed it. Again, this, again, Pharaoh and the Egyptian goddess nonsense. This is what this really is. The Egyptian goddess, gold, basically, she basically acting like she's a goddess, basically bow down before me. I'd rather die before bow down before this harlot. Because that's all she is, it's nothing but a harlot. Gold, money, it's all she brags about in that, this song. All I need is that money. All I need is that money. Again, but one day that money's going to go. The cr Again, stock market will crash. No money ever again. There you go, what you can do then, nothing. Again, as I said, the Illuminati Triangle again. All-seeing eye again. That's all you're going to see all the way through the song. Is the all-seeing eye this, all-seeing eye that. It's done on purpose. And then we have this. This represents the stock market. Again, and we all know who controls the stock market. Zionist. The Babylon. The whore of Babylon. Mystery Babylon. Whether people like that or not, America is not Babylon. Neither is the Vatican. Neither is any of the other nations. It's Jerusalem. Jerusalem has always been known as a harlot all the way through the Bible. Who controls the stock market? Who controls the money? It's true. It's the Zionist Rockefeller Rothschilds. As it says, I know the blasphemy of those that say they are Jews, but are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Again, Zionist Rockefellers control the money, not the Americans. So again, that's who Babylon is. And then we have this. The all-seeing guy, and again, you'll notice this. This is would really represent the ring of Saturn. That's really what it would represent. And we all know what Saturn represents. It represents basically Satan again. And then we have the all-seeing guy again. And then we have this all-seeing guy once again. More garbage. And what is going on here, I really don't want it, and I really don't want to know, to be honest. It's, it seems really weird. I really don't want to know what's going on here. And then again, all seeing guy touching herself in a sexual way, because that's all she is, is nothing but a harlot. Same as Nicki Minaj flaunts a body. Oh, I, I'm I'm perfect. Yeah, you flaunt your body because nobody nobody cares about your music. It's garbage. Trust. Same as Cardi B. And music's garbage. And there we go. As it was supposed to start many times before. It's the same as the Zionist star. It's all the same thing. The six-pointed star. The Rephraim. The Moloch star, it is not the star of David. All these stars are connected. Every single one of them is the same star, it is in disguise. The so-called star of David is the star of Rephraim, the star of the devil, Moloch, the Bible says so. There ain't no such thing as the star of David, no evidence anywhere. Nowhere in the Bible is it mentioned, it's just a joke. It, the Satanist star, the Zionist star, is all the same thing. It's the same star. The witchcraft symbol, even in witchcraft, they use the Zionist star. It's the same star. There's no deni denying it. It is the same star. So again, she's admitting here that she's the Satanist Freemason little puppet. We already knew that anyway, because again, who controls the money, like I said, the Rothschilds, who rules the Illuminati, the Rothschilds, Zionist Rockefellers, it isn't America that control, that rules Illuminati, it's the Zionists. So there we, there we go, with this, showing the satanic symbol, and then you see it's all women, all this empowerment of women. Oh, w w women are now empowered. Women don't need men. Women don't need men. Oh, it's all women. So you've got women throwing money to Cardi B in a damn strip club. Again, more of the agenda. 
We all know what agenda this is because, again, Cardi B admits she swings both ways, so we know what agenda this is. So, again, and again, why have they got British money here? This is Brit, I'm sure this is British money. So, again, why have they got British money? Oh, that's right, this is probably in London, isn't it? Again, there you go, right there, that's clearly the Queen of England, the sellout, because that's really all the Queen of England is, is a sellout piece of garbage. But again, so obviously this is in London, what a shock. Again, a joke. Uh, London is nothing but an abomination, that's all it really is, it promotes sin and everything. That's all it really is, and it's rum again, even the, even the Queen is a Freemason. Want to deny it? Go look at all the symbols she uses. It's all Freemason, Knights Templar. She's part of the agenda. Why do you think England is the way it is? It's corrupt. It's all messed up. The government's f controlled by the Zionists again. Whoever controls the money controls the governments. There's even been found on the on the British English money a satanic pentagram. It's right there. It's actually been found. There's a pentagram on it. So again, whoever controls the money controls the world. Money controls the world. Who controls the money? The stock market, the Zionists, and that's why when it says in the Bible. And I shall bring, and in one hour, I shall bring her money to mount. So what that means is, the stock market's going to crash. These people have no money then. The new world order is going to fail. It's going to fail. Yes, it is going to come. Then again, we are partly living on, in the new world order. We're already living in it. But it's just not fully, as evil, it's just not fully, in full place yet. Well, it's basically this like flicking a switch, basically taking people's rights away. It's already happening anyway. You can't say certain things without uh, without being classed a racist or being classed a, a hit, basically a bigot or something. You can't say anything about... The, you can't basically say anything in the Bible without being called a name. It's a joke. And there we have again, licking this bottle, sexualization, that's all this is, sexualization. And you see the aces, again, aces, again. These are cultists love aces and eights. They love it because it's connected to a cult. But licking this bottle is a sexual reference. That's what it is, it's sexual reference. And then we have again, that's to show that star again. There you go with the Satanist Baphomet pentagram star. It's all the same thing. It's the Zionist star, it's the pentagram star. It's all the same damn thing. It's not any different. And then again, the one eye symbolism. That's all they threw up all the way through the song. All seeing eye. This is all it is. All seeing eye, this and that and that. Garbage, and then this scene. This is just an abomination. And again, it just shows she's she's no different from Nicki Minaj. She's just a copy and paste. That's all it really is. Really, she's just a clone of Nicki Minaj. That's all it is. All she really is is a replacement. They most likely got bored with Nicki Minaj, so now they have to bring a new puppet along. Because this is what they do. No one was was really. Nicki Minaj's career was clearly dying, so they have to bring a new puppet along to influence the youth even more. And and this puppet is even worse. And again, the all-seeing guy, she's completely naked here, nothing on. What a joke. What a joke. No respect for herself and no respect for anyone. This is what she's promoting onto the youth and onto your kids. This is what they want you to think women should be. An object, a sexual object, flaunting their bunny. Gotta get that money, gotta get them dollars. In the reality, you're nothing but a slave. Now we look at the lyrics. The lyrics are disgusting. Absolutely disgusting lyrics. Look my all bad, my all real. 
No, they're not. There's no one real in the industry. They're all fake. I try. I ride on his in some big tall heels. So again, disgusting, vile lyrics. I mean, I think. I mean, you think most of the songs that I've exposed are vile. I mean, damn, this is just disgusting. Well, it's not really a surprise with a personality. I mean, she she goes, I'm the queen of the Bronx. I'm the queen of Brooklyn. I'm the queen of Brooklyn, man. I'm Carly B, y'all. What a joke, queen of Brooklyn. More like queen of a dustbin. What a joke. Ain't no queen of nothing. You see it. She calls herself a queen. Nicki Minaj calls herself a queen. Both of them are just clones. So they really are clones of one another. A joke. The only difference is, is they look different, that's it. It's the same personality, same garbage music, same flaunting the body around. And as I said, the only difference is one looks different from the other. That's all the difference is. It's just a copy and paste. They're the same person. So again, I ride on, on his D. What a joke. Disgusting, vile harlot. And again, this is what they want to promote to your kids. Oh, I, I, I want to be just like Cardi B. I want to be a harlot. I want to be a hoe. Not going around, r going around sleeping with a bunch of men. Oh, yeah, I, I'm a successful person in life. I've got a, I've got HIV. I, I've got chlamydia. I've got herpes. I, I've got so many sexual diseases, but I'm, I'm great. I'm a success. Again, this woman's probably got so many sexual diseases. Who knows? I mean, who knows? Because, again, the stuff that strippers do, most of them do become prostitutes. And then they start selling their own body. Front, I'll flip like ten cartwheels. Disgusting. I give broads chills. Ten different looks. And my looks all kill. No, they don't. I kissed him in the mouth. I feel all grills. Disgusting, make me sick. He eat in the car. That's meals on wheels. I was born to flex, yes. No, you were born to be a sellout. That's what it was. Again, your whole career start, didn't, a career didn't start off from her being a stripper and then suddenly, oh, growing slowly but slowly. It didn't work that way. She was a sellout from day one. As I've mentioned many times before, you can only become a Freemason if you're one of your family members or someone connected to you introduces you into Freemasonry. That's the way it works. They don't come to you. They even admit it on their own websites. The Freemasons admit, admit on their own websites, we don't go looking for people. You have to be introduced. So again, we all know these people are connected to people like Nicki Minaj, Drake. So again, Nicki Minaj is a Freemason. It's always Drake. So obviously they int introduced them. Again, the Migos is... One of the Migos offset was obviously dating her. Obviously, he was a Freemason. He introduced her or whatever. Who really cares anyway? But they're, all, they're just all puppets. It's the way it works. Freema Freemasons don't come to you. You have to be... Have a connection to them. That's the way it works. People just think today that you can just join the Freemasons like that. No, it don't work that way doesn't work that way they don't you have they don't look for people to join you have to be recommended they have you have to be recommended to them and if they don't like you you ain't getting in it's the way it works so again i was born to flex no you weren't you were born to be a sellout diamonds on my neck I like boarding jets, like morning sex. What a joke! But nothing in the world, in this world, that I like more than checks, money. Yeah, you like money. Money is the root of all evil. So she admits she only cares about money. She doesn't care about no nothing else, nobody else. So she uh, again, this is one great mother of the year. This isn't isn't a 
Oh, she's a great mother. I mean, imagine this when a child grows up. Again, this child is going to be go most likely going to become the same way. No surprise. I mean, the way she acts. If this is the way she acts, imagine how she acts to get is going to act around her own child. What a joke. Absolute worst mother on the face of the planet. Oh, um, and that's why when she got mad when Nicki Minaj started talking bad about about her parenthood, she said, don't you ever talk about my children. Well, you're a joke. You're a joke of a mother. You're supposed to be an example to your own kids. Look at you. You're a no nothing but a hoe. That's all you are. Oh, I'm, I'm Cardi B, y'all. I'm the king of the Br I'm the queen of the Bronx. Whatever. Queen of a dustbin, more like. All I really want to see, the money. Yeah, that's all you care about, isn't it? What a joke. All, all a bad B need is the money. Gotta get that money, ya. Yeah. What a joke. These people are just a joke. They don't care about you. They don't care about anybody. All they care about is that money, money, money. They could not care less about their own fans. They couldn't care less about no one. All they care about is that money. What a joke. I got bands and corpse, touch me, I'll shoot, shake a little money, yeah, shake your fake rear end to get money, cause strip clubs are nothing but an abomination, I mean you'd have to be, I mean honestly why would anyone just go to a strip club f throw money at these women, they're a joke. I've never been to a strip club in my life and never will be. It's a, a rip off. Oh yeah, I'm really. A, it's a joke. I wouldn't even go one anyway. I mean, for all, sitting there w watching a woman. I, I, that again, that's what porn is created for. But again, it's just all you know, disgusting. It really is it. All these strip clubs were created for a reason because again, to get people even more dumbed down. And in loss, that's why strip clubs were really created. That's the real reason. Shake it real fast and get a little more. I got buns. I got buns saying garbage. I got a fly. I need a jet. I need room for my legs. Again, yeah, we all know why you got all these jets and that. Because you sold your damn soul. I got a baby, I need some money, oh, you need some money, well, why don't you actually try try being a proper mother then, instead of being a sellout little puppet, promoting your garbage music, I'm, Car I'm Cardi B, y'all, I'm Cardi B, I grew up in the Bronx, I'm a real G, I'm a real G, I don't need no men, y'all. Nothing but a joke. It's just a character. That's all it is. That's all rappers are characters. It's all they are characters. Nothing but fakes. None of them are real. They're all fake. There ain't no gang gangster real G lifestyle. It's all fake. And, and most of these so-called rappers like Ice Cube, Tupac, that's like, I'm against the system, I'm against the system, I'm a real gangster, I'm a real thug, real G for life, yo. None of them are against the system, they're all part of it. They act like they're against the system, saying this garbage like, F the police, F the police. Again, these people don't care about no one. They act like they're against the system. They're not against the system. They're a joke. They're an absolute joke, man. Tupac was not against the system. Anyone that says he is and worships him is nothing but still being deceived and is worshipping idolatry because Tupac, Tupac's music was garbage. As simple as that, it was garbage. He was just another, another moron. They're rapping about the same garbage that all the other idiots do. 
he was he was not against the Illuminati. He created this movement like Illuminati. If you throw these hand signs up like the devil horns upside down, then this means you're against the Illuminati. Again, he was a clown. You had, to, you had to put up this repetition like, I'm against the police, I'm against the police, whatever. They all, they're all the fake. You see with all every single so-called rapper, it's the same image, isn't it? Oh, I've been to prison, I'm a real gangster. None of them have been to prison. It's all fake. Most of the so-called tattoos that they have in the face is fake. Spray-ons, most likely. That's all they are. So... I mean, it's just a complete joke, it really is. The song is just nothing but garbage. All of them are fake, every single damn one of them. Baby mama with the clip. So, oh, you'll be in trouble. Bring brass knuckles to the shuffle. I heard that Cardi went pop. Yeah, I did go pop. That's me busting. They bubble. I'm doesn't whatever that says the with the drip baby mono mama with the clip walk out with a b bring a to the whip if she fine or she thick oh now we know which way she swings what a sh not a shock at all not a shock i mean it exposed last time the way she swung not a joke because this is what they want to promote and to the masses now oh men men don't women don't need men oh let, let, women just would need women what a joke all right then what if let, let's wipe every single man out on the face of the planet let's see it let's see if all you women can survive less than 10 minutes not gonna happen again it's just all part of the movement that's all it is oh women don't need me, women Women don't need men, men don't need women, y'all, I'm a goddess, I'm a goddess, I don't need no man. Yeah, you're talking about, you're bragging, you're always on about men in your songs, yeah. You're a joke, you ain't fooling no one. It's just part of the feminist movement, it was created by the government. So saying that everything's damn sexist again the bible says what it says if you don't like it too damn bad walking past the mirror oh so again you see she's just in love with herself again th th this is this is basically this is what these people do they worship themselves as an as a, an idol or a god they worship themselves that they're, they're like damn look at my body again it's all fake though none of it's real it's fake Nicki minaj is fake so are you you admit it's been proven that she's had plastic surgery all of them are all of them have had plastic surgery there's no doubt about it that's why when they promote they promote the that she's uh she's fine she's not fine it's funny again when she starts saying that she's fine. Again, go look at her with no makeup on. Damn. I don't I wouldn't even look twice at her. Honestly, look at Cardi B when she's got no makeup on, you'll see the difference. You'll see what beauty she's got. None. Let A B try me. Boom boom. Hammer time. What a joke. And again, she's looking at herself in the mirror. Damn, I'm fine. I'm fine, yo. Damn, that girl is fine, yo. What a joke. What a complete joke. She's in love with him herself. And again, as it says, pride leads to destruction. So all these people that are in love with themselves, as it says, beauty is vanity. God can take away someone's beauty of a woman any day he wants. We, we, uh, that beauty is not going to last forever. You look at most of the women stars, how they used to look when they started the career. Now look at them. Look a mess. It's because all of them have had liposuction, they've had plastic surgery. And now look at them. They look a mess. They look like they've been on drugs. 
Yeah, yeah, I was born to flex. Diamonds on my neck. Ah, boarding jets. I like moving sex. What a joke. This song is just a joke. I don't really need the D. I need the money. Gotta get that money, y'all. Busting out the roof, I got bonds in the cup. Touch me, I'll shoot you. This song is just so stupid. I will pop on your pops. I really don't know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah. I will pop on whatever. Brr. What? What is this bird now? Bird man now. You know who pops the most? Who? The people who s not together. You da best, Cardi. A freak. Oh, my pajamas is leather. Uh, I will black on your... Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. What is that supposed to mean? Again, Waka Land... Waka and Forever. That is a racist movie, that is. That is the most racist movie on the face of the planet. People talk about racism. Go watch that. I mean, don't watch it, actually. Just look at it. It's racism. It's basically, basically the enslave everyone. It's a joke of a movie. It promotes witchcraft. It promotes basically. It's basically just a copy and paste of Black Lives Matter. That's all it really is. It's a racist movie. Oh, but these people can't be racist. Whatever. Walker Lander forever simulates that racist movie. Basically, I forgot what it was called now. It was, um, I forgot it because one, I really don't care about it. Something Black Panther, which Black Panther is one, a racist movie. It's, it's basically a movie where it hates all white people. That's really what it is. That's all it is. Sweet like a honey bun, spit like a Tommy gun. Rolly a one of one, come get your Cardi at the tip top B. Kiss the ring and kiss the rocks. Again, jump it down, back it up. Again, absolutely disgusting, vile songs. Again, kiss the rings. Again, uh, this is so she sees herself as a queen and a king. Kiss the ring. Nah, ain't nobody kissing that ring. Make that put down 2k. I like that dark. Like deuce, deuce, what, whatever that's supposed to say. He gonna eat this like soup. A. Hey, I was born to flex. Diamonds on my neck. But nothing in this world that I like more than culture. I, I, why, I thought it was money, I thought it was money, now, now it's culture, make your mind up, all I really want to see is that money, I don't really need the D, I need the money, all a bad B need is the KKC, what is even a KKC, I don't want to know actually, it's probably something that's disgusting, so again, KKC woo. We all know. I know what woo means. Woo means wooing someone. And then it goes money, 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 y'all. Gotta get that money, y'all. Joke of a song, man. Absolute disgusting garbage. Not really sure. Another garbage music song that sucks, like all the rest. Not a surprise.